Hey, remember when the entire YouTube community, as well as myself, hyped up an elite season for Chase Elliott? Yeah, times are fun when you're jacked up on Mountain Dew. Since 2009, teams with Alan Gustafson on the pit box have only won three races in the first half of the season. I would expect once again another hot second half and they will get some wins and playoff points but unfortunately the DI9 siren will more than likely stay silent until at least July. One week later. And with the checkered flag, Chase Elliott wow. has brought the Elliott name back to victory lane at Talladega. Chevy, one, two. Gee, that aged well. I mean, seriously, the week after I mentioned these claims, these suckers decide to go out and win Talladega. A victory by the DI9 team has seen my claims falter in record time, almost as quick as my Michael and Nett and Denny Hamlin predictions. Yeah, let's not go down that path. Luckily, if I had to be wrong about any team and driver, it would most certainly be Chase Elliott and this nine bunch. So with this upload, I've decided to analyze this occurrence and what it could mean going down the line. We'll take a look at how the team reversed course and what circumstances caused the Alan Gustafson almanac to break its typical spring pattern. Before we take the green flag, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an upload. Be like Alan Gustafson and break the traditions of watching videos late in the year. And most certainly, the bell feature on YouTube is the best way to get notified about fresh new content. Consistent through this 2019 campaign, Chase Elliott brought the horses to the track as the speed within the 9 Camaro helped the orange hot rod on Sunday. Chase Elliott raced like a true gladiator from the 11th starting position and quickly sliced his way towards the leading mark. He netted an incredible 45 laps out front and earned his first playoff point of the season during Stage 2. In addition, our head crew chief in this battle, Alan Gustafson, called a great race on top of the war wagon and the pit crew was among the best all day. Team played on the offensive front for the majority of the race, which those charges are needed to seize victory, especially at a super speedway event like Talladega. For once, we also saw the Chevrolet race teams put forth a battle plan during the Super Speedway race and work together to prevail towards the front of the pack. Personally, this is something I've wanted the Bowtie emblem to do since the 2016 Daytona 500 as working together prevents crashes as well as losing control of the lead pack. During that same 500, the Hendrick Motorsports cars did a poor job working to retain the stranglehold over the field, and this led to Chase Elliott suffering a casualty when the machine got arrow loose mid-pack. The Toyota Alliance shortly after took control, and they were unbeatable during the second half of the event. Meanwhile, last fall, this was the same case for Stuart Haas Racing. As the four cars aligned together, they freight trained the other 36 cars, and Eric Almirola found himself lifting the hardware after 500 miles. Teamwork and alliances of HMS, Ganassi, Germain, JTG, and RCR helped the nine team up front, yet unfortunately, the Little Caesars team featured a hungry pack of 30 drivers and teams hoping for the same glories out front. With a William Shakespeare cartoon on the front of your car, it's only a matter of time before a major tragedy. Fortunately, unlike its hood counterpart, there would be no downfall from power for the Roman and Rich 9 team. Instead, the orange hot rod caught some timely good luck for seemingly the first time all season. The elder Bush brother attempts to make a pass for the lead on Joey Logano, which is easily denied. Coming off the bottom allows Chase Elliott to take the lead as the Chevrolet freight train easily outpowers the outside lane. The strength in numbers prevents any challenge from the outside groove as none of the Fords or Toyotas step up to challenge for the front position. Finally, a timely caution on the backstretch seals the deal for Chase Elliott and the number 9 team. Honestly, if the race remains green, Alex Bowman would have had the upper hand chasing Elliott as the new aero package made it easier to pass and make moves on Sunday. There were a whopping 38 lead changes through the course of 500 miles, and coming towards the checkers, the 88 would have had an easier time executing a bold move and capturing the checkered flag. Now, who knows, Chase Elliott could have blocked the front cars perfectly, but certainly I believe first place would have been a sitting duck, especially at Talladega where the start-finish line resides in turn one. Regardless, it was a hard-fought win for Chase Elliott and the Little Caesars crew as the nine team got to enjoy the enrichments and feasts of Victory Lane. 
This snap, Chevrolet's winless drought dating back to Kansas, which chased last October and saves the humiliation of going 10 races into the season without a checkered flag, something that hasn't occurred since 1971. Meanwhile, Alan Gustafson managed to win the earliest during a single season since 2011. That campaign, Jeff Gordon was a legitimate threat for the title, netting three wins, including number 85 at Atlanta. Despite this only being a super speedway victory, the trends show winning early yield success. 2009 and 2014 were also elite seasons for the Ormond Beach Florida native, which sparked some promise into the DI9 faithfuls. Finally, the winning nine car passed post-race inspection, which officially means Chase Elliott is qualified for the NASCAR playoffs here in April. Well, now that my team's in the postseason, there is no incentive to watch this show week in and week out. See you guys in September. In all serious, it feels good to win as a fan, and I expect more of it as Chase Elliott and company goes throughout the season. It's time to ring that siren with joy, and maybe this can be the case in November. So anyways, this is NRF signing out, and just remember, life's a beach and then you drive.